Hello guys, it's me, Blanket Gamer 1000 here, back with another low budget video. And in this video, um, you're probably wondering why am I under bedrock and in the void? Well, my last video about um being in the void, which is over here, took place over here, showing off my um interesting ideas for how you could actually stay down in the void, it did um moderately well. So that's why I'm going to, oh wait, what the, oh my god, 3,000, oh shoot, I gotta follow up on this. So yeah, I'm now going to be listing three ideas that I think would be pretty cool um, to build underneath bedrock. Anyway, let's get into it. Alright, so to start off here, we have this basic house kind of floating in the sky. I built it out of the new wood types and I think it looks quite cool. Um, I really like these new mud bricks. I think they look really nice um, with the mangrove wood. And it's really great on the outside, in my opinion. It's pretty basic, but nice. And then on the inside, you have a good, cozy little house kind of cabin feel to it a little bit. It has a fireplace and all that. And then you might be wondering, is there like a any way of getting into it or like a secret entrance? Well, you probably weren't wondering that. But if you were, you're in luck because up here... Um, there is a little secret entrance that I made where you can just jump down the fireplace and land right into it. And yeah, I think it's quite cool. So, in all, it's quite neat in my opinion, and it's just a basic house that's hanging in, in the void, which is just a little novelty. Anyway, next one. Alright, so here as the second um, part, we have this nice little pig farm. And in my opinion, it looks pretty cool. As you can see here, it's pretty basic and just, well, another pig farm. But I tried to give it a couple unique aesthetics. Like, for example, it's kind of flipped over. That's how I attempted to make it. So it's almost like you have the um, like the roof down there, and then up is where like the ground would actually be. And then you also just have you know some nice lanterns and a little... Uh, a gate you also have all your pigs and their potatoes and their carrots as what they would like to eat and some water around so then the pigs can feel happy living there um and in all i think it's a pretty nice and basic little pig farm okay so now we have here the third and final build that i think fits pretty well and can be pretty cool in the void we have this nice bridge here in the void. It's kind of over the void, which I always thought was cool for a bridge to have a bridge over the void. Also, it could be pretty helpful so you can get from place to place in a creative world or something. You don't want like a path actually in um, like on top of the creative world, so you go under it. <laughs> go under and not over. Um, and we have some lanterns down there. To give it some nice lit up feel. Also, it's pretty useful because now you can go up and you can see your beautiful creations. Like, for example, my amazing statues here. They're just so good and I just love them. There's nothing wrong with these just amazing Among Us statues. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to cut the Among Us jokes. Um, so, yeah, you know, I think this is a pretty nice structure. Um, and it could be pretty cool in the void. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Um, and if you did enjoy, I would really appreciate you subscribing because we're getting really close to 200, and that's my goal to hit. Anyway, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.